Hi. Valentine's Day is right around the corner, and I always think if you're lucky enough to share it with somebody, then you should figure out a special way to do that. I don't mean buying into the commercialism of Valentine's Day. You don't have to spend a ton of money at a restaurant. I say skip the inexpensive roses from the corner bodega. Don't waste your money on bland milk chocolate from a drugstore. I think the best thing you can give for Valentine's Day is your time and your love. Money can't buy either one of those. And I'm gonna show you my plan. I'm gonna make dinner for Valentine's Day. You know, the most important things about the dinner, get yourself a bottle of bubbly, we love champagne, and get some candles. But what's on the menu? Okay, I'm gonna start with a salad. I call it the beating heart salad. I use hearts of romaine, artichoke hearts, hearts of palm, and a beet. Get it? Beet. Uh, I'm going to make a little Napoleon out of this with a heart-shaped cookie cutter after I slice it. And I'm going to fill it with goat cheese and cream cheese. It's really delicious and it looks so pretty. You're going to love it. It's easy. I like to slice my romaine. I do my, my Caesar salad the same way. If you're using hearts of palm from a can, you're going to need a strainer and a bowl. Let's open it up. I'm just gonna get rid of all of that liquid. While that's draining, I'm going to chop up some artichoke hearts. These are marinated. They're delicious. You can eat them whole or you can chop them up. Beets are delicious and really good for you and they give great color to the salad. I roasted this myself in my trusty little toaster oven. It took about an hour and a half at 400 degrees. You can easily buy canned beets. They even sell packaged ones, which are easier to work with because beets are messy. And I'm going to slice the beets pretty, oh, about a quarter of an inch. The hearts of palm are nice and dry, so and slice them on a bit of an angle because I'm going to stand them up on the plate and give ourselves a little architectural skyline. And then the fourth one, I'm just going to cut into slices and use it on top of the salad, just like the artichoke hearts. So. The salad is spun. If you don't have a spinner, I think it's a great invention. I'm going to put a little green on the plate. I'm going to use these cute little um, hearts of palm and stand a couple of them, up. a little trio. Look, it's the Andrew sisters on a plate. Then we'll sprinkle on our artichoke hearts. We'll take our chopped hearts of palm. There we go. Okay. He is equal parts goat cheese and cream cheese. And I chop them up with a little bit of capers and some fresh lemon juice. If you have a Ziploc bag, you can pipe. Now, you can use a spreader to make a little sandwich out of these little beet things, but I like to pipe because I can. Take a little scissor, cut off your tip, and you become a pastry chef. I'm gonna pipe out a nice little squeeze on each of these two halves. And then I'm going to make a little sandwich. Press that right on top. Now we take our heart-shaped cookie cutter and press it right through. I'm gonna release all of the excess because I'm gonna chop that up and use it in the salad. And do the same thing with this guy. Look at that cute little heart-shaped Napoleon. Isn't that adorable? You can make as many of these as you like, as many beets as you have. And then it's always a good idea to use the rest, chop it up. You wanna do this at the last minute because beets have a tendency to stain whatever they come in contact with. This vinaigrette is delicious. It is so simple. It is a quarter of a cup of light olive oil. Light olive oil works best, although I do love a nice, rich, dark green olive oil. Uh, three tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, uh, about a tablespoon of mustard, and the juice of a lemon. Shake it up, little squeeze bottle, 99 cent store. They're great. A nice lemony vinaigrette. That's the basic recipe. You could add, you know, be creative. I like to add sometimes a little red onion. Red is always a nice color to add. It's delicious with avocado. You could put a little chopped cilantro on it. There are so many options. Tiny little bit of some sea salt and 
fresh pepper. And that, my friends, is a beating heart Valentine's Day salad. So what would Michael do? Michael would make something. Give time. Give love. Happy Valentine's Day. And subscribe to this channel.